In just a moment, my buddy Aaron will tell you guys how to play the Vison RPG system and why it's so different from D&D. But real quick, I just want to let you know that we did in fact play a six part miniseries with the Vison RPG system. So if you'd like to see it being played in real time, the link will be in the description. It was a great time. Here's Aaron. Vison is a D6 based system published by Free League Publishing. In concept, it plays very similarly to D&D. When a player decides to take an action, the DM, in this case me, will ask for some form of check. The player then rolls a number of D6 equal to their ability score and modifiers, counting each six as a success. But unlike in D&D, rarely can an encounter with monsters or vison be solved with violence. Characters are, for the most part, normal people except through some form of trauma, they have gone, they have been given the sight, the ability to see these terrifying creatures that live in the world around them. In order to overcome their weaknesses of their physical form, players must instead use their knowledge of the Vison's fears and weaknesses to banish or bind their foes, though at times the real threat are other humans. That's pretty much it. Um, characters have four general uh, ability modifiers. Physique, precision, logic, and empathy. Those are going to be your base stats comparable to strength, dexterity, constitution. They also have skills, same as you would in Dungeons the Dragons, you become proficient in those. They are agility, close combat, force, medicine, so on and so forth. One of the most important changes in this game is that unlike in Dungeons & Dragons, you don't have health per se. Instead, you rack up either physical or mental conditions. Examples of those are exhausted, battered, wounded for physical, angry, frightened, and hopeless for mental. And if you gain a fourth in either your physical or mental conditions, you become broken. Basically, what that means is you will gain a permanent or semi-permanent defect of sorts that will affect your character in the future, unless you are not healed from your broken condition, in which case your character is rendered done for. They either die or are too physically injured to do anything else, or they go absolutely insane and are unretrievable in the case of a mental, uh, mental break. That means that death is not only incredibly easy, but incredibly likely. So keep that in mind, especially if you decide to play this yourself. But doesn't just end there. If the character dies, don't worry. In most games, they will probably have another character made by the end of the session, if not easily before the next one. Since death is really easy, it's kind of expected. So, hey, just throw yourself at all sorts of random conditions. Um, I know I have le I have played this game before. I absolutely love it. Uh, I know that Lydia, before this recording, has played this game. It was a blast. Um, so if you want to pick it up yourself, go right ahead. Uh, check it out on Free League Publishing. I sincerely recommend it. This is where the clip would end. You did it so well. <laughs> so well, Aaron.